My colleague Lori Matsukawa has been here at King 5 for more than 36 years. She has had an amazing career here in the Pacific Northwest. This is her final week on the air at King 5. She plans to retire and play a lot of golf, <laughs> among many other things. So all this week, we are going to bring you highlights of Lori's time here and a look back at what really is an amazing career. So Lori, does it feel real yet that you're you're going to be leaving us? It certainly does not. And as they say, it ain't over till the fat lady sings. <laughs> and I notice I've been scheduled to work until 11.35 p.m. Friday. So until then, I'm still a working until dude. Until then, we will be celebrating <laughs> Lori all week. So you've been involved with so many amazing stories, people, places over the years. Here is a look at some of your favorite moments. Take a look. Back to Washington, 10.30 hours. At, at the gates where we came in. All right. No See you back in an hour. Topping the list, Lori's trip to China in 1997, reporting on Governor Gary Locke's trade mission. For centuries, the Great Wall was meant to keep foreigners out, which it did with some degree of success. But perhaps it was more successful serving as a highway, transporting people and products across a very mountainous terrain. The Forbidden City is huge, 800 buildings, 9,000 rooms. They started building it in the early 1400s, and it's been burnt down and rebuilt several times since. With the governor in China, Lori Matsukawa, King 5 News. Locke's parents were Chinese immigrants, so the Chinese media mobbed the governor, treating him like a rock star as he returned to his roots. He has fond memories about representing the state of Washington on the global stage and seeing Lori every step of the way. But I have great memories of Lori. Uh, Lori carrying a tripod uh, up the Great Wall of China. Lori was just incredible. I mean, um, the, the whole King 5 team just really gave us, our family, such great, great, great memories. Watch this takeoff. Major Costa Savaris will pull straight up. And Top Gun, watch out. 20 years ago, Lori pulled nine Gs in an F-16. There's no way she's going to forget that day. Oh my goodness. The 2001 World Cup overall champ is keeping things in perspective. Lori was front and center at the Olympic Games in Salt Lake City and Vancouver, interviewing many local athletes, including short track speed skater Apollo Ono. This is a King 5 special report. Lori produced the special series, Prisoners in Their Own Land, marking the 75th anniversary of the internment of Japanese Americans. With a stroke of a pen, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt sent more than 110,000 Americans of Japanese ancestry into American concentration camps during World War II. Lori spoke with men and women who were forced to live behind fences as children. It was cold in the winter and more, really hot in the summer, and there were dust storms and mud, very, lots of mud. And we saw the legal crusade in Seattle and around the country that led to an official apology from the U.S. government and reparations. For here, we admit a wrong. In 2017, Lori flew to Japan to report about the aftermath of the 2011 earthquake, tsunami, and Fukushima nuclear disaster. When the tsunami swept through this area, it actually came up to the top of that house over there, wiping out the entire village. Tens of thousands of people displaced. Lori showed us the ongoing effort to rebuild communities near the disaster zone. The contaminated soil is stored in these black plastic bags. They're stored here temporarily. Eventually, all of the bags are going to be taken to the Daiichi plant site for permanent storage. And in 2015, Lori was inside the White House as three Northwesterners received the Presidential Medal of Freedom. The Presidential Medal of Freedom is this country's highest civilian honor, and tonight the White House was full of celebrities. She introduced us to recipients Billy Frank Jr., Minoru Isui, and former EPA Administrator William Ruckelshaus. Well, there's so much that we could not fit into that report. You covered so many stories over the years. Is there one story, Lori, that you're most proud of or one topic? Well, one thing that I have to, to mention, that last story of the president presenting this medal to these three Northwesterners, uh, people don't see what's going on behind the scenes, mm -hmm. but we were all packed. All these Northwest, all these reporters were all packed together on a stage, and I remember kind of peeking under through the legs of a tripod at the president, and I'm thinking, I can't believe I'm in the White House <laughs> looking at the president 
president of the United States. So that was a pretty thrilling, albeit cramped experience. Sure. Uh, and it has to be traveling to China with then Governor Gary Locke because we were working so hard. Dave Wyke and I were covering the uh, governor in the mornings, mm -hmm. editing and transmitting in the evenings. It's amazing that we you know, survive 10 days with so little sleep. Wow, some great work there. Yeah. And your internment stories, we're going to be hearing more about that throughout the okay. week as we go. Okay. We're posting all of this week's stories, a slideshow, and much more online. You can text the keyword Lori to 206-448-4545, and we will send you a direct link. We also want to make sure that you know we have a special one-hour live show this Friday night beginning at 7. We'll showcase Lori's work, her accomplishments, and community engagement. Several special guests will be stopping by. It's a celebration of Lori Matsukawa after 36 years at King 5, Friday at 7 o'clock right here.